I'm back whether you wanted me back or not. You gotta deal with this shit. Reading from the book Mind Control 101 by Dan Talian Jones. How to influence the thoughts and actions of others without them caring or knowing. Or knowing or caring. One of the most essential books ever written. You know what I'm saying? We all know the mind is all and the universe is mental. And the mind being the catalyst or the foundation for any magic work. You know what I'm saying? So, every motherfucking nigga should have this book in their house. To understand how to use your divine mind, how to activate all the potentials that you have within them. You know what I'm saying? And it's so essential because of how effortless this shit work in mind controlling a mass population of people. I mean, like sheep being led, you know what I'm saying, to slaughter every day, every, right now, 24-7, man. This shit is endless on how they implemented the mind control. But I'm just going to be reading from part one on what the fuck is mind control. I think, I, I, you know what I'm saying, you heard Panic allude to it. I mean, he broke it all down, you know what I'm saying, masterfully, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying, you hear other people allude to it. But... The mind, man, you got to really know how to use your mind, you know what I'm saying, how, how, you know what I'm saying, what is mind control? It's not necessarily evil, you know what I'm saying, which is how it's been used against many people, you know what I'm saying, just taking advantage of people and shit like that. You can look at that shit as evil, but we all know good and evil are fucking the same thing on the motherfucking, on the scales, all the same, so. But mind control, what is mind control? Mind control. When you hear those words, a myriad of images may come to mind. You might envision a devious man using the power of his mind and will to dominate the actions of some, of some unsuspecting and innocent woman. You may think of those, you may think of some clandestine cabal of world leaders secretly planning the next steps toward a unified world economy. Or perhaps you are the cult leader, one of my favorite images, with a gathering of loyal followers ready to hear every word. It is not likely you have in mind a loving parent reading to his children or an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting helping its members live a decent life of sobriety. It is also unlikely that, as you stand in your favorite church of worship, you will recognize the grasp of mind control has on you. Or as you sit with your psychiatrist, you are unlikely to be aware of the subtle acts of mind control that are being used on you. But it is there. And for the sake of this book, any attempt to bring about a change in your thoughts and feelings, and therefore your actions, is an act of mind control. That may sound shocking because most people see mind control as a bad thing done by bad people. So let me make it clear the intention and motives of the controller are not relevant to this, to this discussion. The controller may be motivated by the most altru altruistic ideals or may only want your money. This book will attempt to uncover the method, methods of how those thoughts and feelings are instilled to bring about the controller's outcome. Listen up, niggas. To make a distinction, my control differs from the vulgar actions and tactics of, of coercion. Coercion is when all a controller wants is to have someone make a specific action and has no concern for their motivation. Threats, guilt. And humiliation will usually do the job, but coercion lacks any form of grace or elegance. Coercion cares nothing about the thoughts and feelings of the people being coerced. This is the major difference between coercion and mind control. Because many so-called cults are use coercion to get, to get compliance from their subjects. The topic will be discussed, but it is the goal of this book to aspire to something higher, namely mind control. In the next chapter of this book, the various models of mind control will be covered. The difference between mind control and persuasion is subtle, but nonetheless important. Consider all power of one form or another as a hierarchy. By moving up, up each level, one controls more and more power. Persuasion starts at the bottom, while mind control seeks to control the top of the pyramid. As an example, persuasion seeks to sell a widget and overcome the buyer's tendency to say, I have to ask my wife. Mind control, on the other hand, seeks to make the thought of not only the widget blasphemous and unnatural. It's so subtle how this shit works, man. It is a good idea to remember that true mind control is difficult and unnatural because it requires the controller to think above the present short term and think beyond mere appearances. The majority of the world responds to what they see and reacts to it by thinking in terms of the tactics that will get them what they want. Mind control, true quality mind control, requires thinking in terms of strategy. Thinking far ahead, 
are far enough ahead so that your real desire is hidden, yet your outcome is still achieved. No simple task. It requires knowing how people think and respond and a knowledge of the individual's personal re- impulses and weaknesses. So that's all I always said. That it's always, if you're using this shit, like, consciously mind controlling somebody, it's always good to have some level of rapport with the person. You know what I mean? Because I use a lot of neuro-linguistic mind control programs and shit I use. And I'm telling you, using or having rapport, having being able to tap into the other individual's central nervous system, the energy that they have, you know what I mean? It's, it's so fucking... Um, it's very simple to how how you can just maneuver the conversation, change the tone of the conversation. I mean, the emotion of the conversation. You just, but you using you using the person as like a puppet, and you just it's like playing a video game. You, you know what I'm saying? Your the, the player on the game is just under all your fucking your will and your desire to do whatever. It happens every day. It's happening right now. No simple task, like I said. It requires knowing how people think and respond and a knowledge of the individual's personal impulses and weaknesses. More importantly, it requires knowing yourself and being able to control your impulses to react. Your goals, your highest ambitions must be held secret in every action measured by how close it brings you to your goal. One way of distinguishing how people think is in terms of serial linear and non-linear thinking. Get this shit in order. Serial thinking is the act of thinking and responding in an automatic fashion. Simple thinking or serial thinking is a result of our evolution and is quite useful. By simply reacting to the situation at the moment, it prevents us from having to think too much. It is also how sheep are led to slaughter. Linear thinking is a step up and requires forethought and ability to predict. In some way, the consequences of actions and various paths that lead to our goals and our desires. For the average chess player, the game is an excellent example of how to stretch linear thinking to its limits. Non-linear thinking does not stop at the chessboard. At this pinnacle, it incorporates all dimensions of space and time. While a linear thinking chess player may aim to win each game and become a world champion, the non-linear player will be able to see how losing a game will position them to play an opponent that will be easier to beat and therefore give themselves and the game greater publicity. All chaos beings should be on this type of shit, man. A non-linear thinking player may even see so far ahead knowing their own limitations and the limitations of the game that at one point they will stage a huge outburst promising to never play the game again and garner exposure for one of their other ambitious projects. The art of mind control, and it is an art, is more than just responding to the situation, serial thinking, or having a structured plan to get your outcome, linear thinking. It is the ability to be fluid when responding to a fluid environment, or when responding to a fluid environment. You must know your goal, you must know yourself, you must know your environment, and you must know the people you influence in every way possible. And you must do it all while outwardly appearing to be like everyone else around you. That goes back to the 48 laws of power. I forget which law it is, but acting the way you want, thinking the way you want, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? How you how I relate to the environment you in. I think it's more so hiding your actions and shit with your thoughts, but acting like everybody else. I mean, that's some essential shit. Anybody, I mean, I feel everybody at this point read the 48 laws of power. I've been applying them. So different laws on everyday human interaction and shit because the shit holds a lot of benefits in doing so. This is no easy task, but it is worthy of your efforts. To aspire to this ideal promises that at every turn you will learn that something about yourself and your world. Of course, if you are interested in mind control, it is probably a good idea to discuss the ethics of mind control. I'm not one to preach morality, and nowhere in this book will you read how you should use mind control. This is not a book on ethics, and you can guess that there are plenty of people in the organizations who have used this technology with no concern about how it affects people. I know plenty of men who have used mind control to get laid. It is truly not the hard, not that hard. The ones who are good at it can frame their actions, frame control. Some other shit I'm going to be talking about in the next couple weeks. 
frame their actions so that the women involved understand it is a way to give them pleasure they will enjoy. In other words, they appreciate the effort made to seduce them. Others are so, not so skilled and would be and would do better to remain silent about their actions and intentions. Let me, therefore, recommend that you use what you learn here as if it were to be used on you. So, if you aren't annoyed with mind control being used on you, believe me, it is being used on you all the time. And you are generally a happy person, then it's probably okay to do the same with others. As a general rule, if you decide to use mind control and you are motivated by anger or hurt, it is very likely that you will hurt people in the process. Perhaps that's not a concern for you, so be it. However, you should be warned never to underestimate people's desire to get even and change your actions accordingly. As a final note, through all of this, you may find it also so enlightening that you feel it is worth sharing, especially with people close to you. One might believe that others will appreciate being awoken from their ignorance. <laughs> I dare you to try. Don't cash your pearls with false swine. I don't give a fuck with your family, whoever it is. Thing on this, a thing on this next wave, shit, man. Them niggas who ain't on it, let them stay asleep. Like my nigga Dark Low said, man. Let them niggas stay. <sighs> it ain't. Nope. They sheep. They the motherfuckers that you be using your scientific experiments to implement these levels of mind control. I'm telling you, the shit work. What you will find is that sleep, metaphoric sleep, is the natural state of the mind. People will equate your efforts to awaken them with an attempt to change them. While people might not mind changing, they resist being changed. Therefore, it is best to keep your own counsel. Only fuck with niggas who built for this shit. You know what I mean? Like, I got one hand. And I know a lot of niggas who talk this shit, but ain't implemented none of this shit. And they motherfucking living conditions is... You know what I'm saying? That's the fruit they bear from what the fuck the work they put in, which is nothing. You see what I'm saying? So keeping your own counsel sometimes, man, you gotta go alone on this shit. And this left hand path can be a lonely path, but nigga, I'm I'm built for this shit. You know what I'm saying? This is almost like a natural way of it's a natural way of thinking and my mind says it's like it's like hand and glove or you know what I'm saying, how I move about. But but keep your own motherfucking counsel. Do people need waking up? Of course, but let them do it in their own time. Until then, it will be you and I who benefit from these insights. The movie The Matrix offered an analogy. In the movie, humanity was subjugated through mind control to serve a machine. Supposing that you are an insignificant power source, subordinate to a huge world dominating machine. Would you have swallowed the red pill as the main character Neo did in order to be woken up? And realize it. All y'all niggas who talking about y'all woke don't have no fucking idea how mind control is being implemented on you. On how you use it. You just don't even know that shit is a weapon. Stay woke my ass. Y'all niggas is fool. Ill last quote from H.P. Lovecraft. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of a black seas of infinity. And it was not meant that we should voyage far. Gnosis, niggas. The Intended Audience. This book was written to appeal to a wide range of people who can apply its knowledge in the area of human interaction. Your ambitions may vary as much as your interests, whether you seek world domination or to be merely better than your in your interpersonal communications. This book will have something for you. It is safe to say that you that the only person who will not benefit from applying this knowledge is the individual isolated from all human contact. So I say ritualize your human interactions, man. Use this shit. You a scientist. You got to go out in the field and do experiments on motherfuckers, man. You got to, you know what I'm saying, make your own, you know what I'm saying, type scientific experiments and go about seeing what results you get from it. Every day is an opportunity for you to sharpen your sword and your psychic abilities and enhance them and see how they influence everybody around you. Ill shit. There have been many people who have who have preceded you, and you and anyone else can learn from them. You can study them or use them as models of behavior. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna I ain't gonna go too much further on this shit, but you gotta motherfucking buy this book, Mind Control One on One by Dan Tanya Jones. I got this shit for like thirteen dollars on Amazon. I mean, it's absolutely essential. If you work in any magical path, not knowing 
you know what I'm saying, understanding how the mind how the mind work. I mean, it got all kind of steps. Five steps of mind control outlined by Edgar Shine, all, all different psychological motherfuckers. I mean, it talks about rituals. It talks about, you know what I'm saying, the parents being the biggest uh, biggest influence on mind control as, as kids. You know what I mean? They they really been the main catalyst in all how we, you know what I'm saying, see the world based on the mind. I mean, it's all kind of shit, all kind of problems we're going through because of that shit. But it's not necessarily evil. It can be used to fuck a nigga up. This shit can be used to do all kind of shit. Like, I, I remote control motherfuckers, man, using this shit. I know how to speak. I know how to change my tone. I know, but I always make sure that I'm the motherfucker that's going to have the frame control. I'm going to control the frame. I'm not going to let that motherfucker come and dictate, change anything that I'm doing. Or if so, if I'm having a conversation with a motherfucker, right, and I'm building with the other dude, a person, whatever, and I already know I got a rapport with him, and I'm... I'm the alpha. I'm dominating the conversation. And now motherfucker can try to come up and change the subject. I don't even acknowledge that nigga. I'm not letting him interfere or change my motherfucking frame. I get frame control right back by, you know what I'm saying, steadying the course on the shit. And while I'm doing that shit, while I'm talking to, you know what I'm saying, my my boy or whatever, it's like I can compartmentalize myself where this motherfucker who's standing here trying to annoy me to get my attention, I'm motherfucking psychically attacking the motherfucker all kind of shit, like, just you know, let your mind wander on how that takes place, but, and I can use that to, you know what I'm saying, place holographic inserts in that motherfucker's mind of being torn apart by monsters or feeling motherfucking pain in his feet, in his eyes, and that motherfucker, all of a sudden, he'd go away, and he'd just think, oh, man, I don't feel too good, shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this nigga Shane ain't paying attention to me. Why the fuck I keep seeing myself be ate up by zombies and shit? I don't know what the fuck is that about. The motherfucker, it don't matter if he in proximity to me or not, but at the time, he, I could have used him as an example of a person that's annoying me and use my fucking the black magic shit I work with every day, sorceries or, or whatnot, to impart or, you know what I'm saying, remote influence the motherfucker by feeding them images and thoughts. You know what I mean? They got words for that shit. Telepathy or... You know what I'm saying? But one way I use that shit is being able to, you know what I'm saying, empathically tap into the feeling, but tele- telepathy and telekinesis, not tele- telekinesis, but like being able to relate to the feeling of his thoughts. But, you know what I'm saying, more so like I can I can feel what he's thinking by the empathic connection with an individual, but to- telepathically being able to feed them images and thoughts. That's how I use them too. I combine the two, so... I don't mean to get all jumbled up with the words and super trying niggas who following this channel. Motherfucker turn. Motherfucker turn. Motherfucker turn. Oh, it's one of those short dick trains. We good. Where was I? Telepathy. Empathic connection. Mind control. I mean, we we on the we under mind control every day, man. It's not necessarily like I say evil, but it, you need to understand the shit. You need to understand how it's utilized, how it affects you, and how you can use that shit to affect everybody around. The mind is all the universe is mental. We all know that shit, but what are you doing with the shit that you know? You know what I mean? How how are you weaponizing the shit? You know what I'm saying? So. I'm going to be back on my Necronomicon shit later. I'm making a couple motherfucking videos today. I feel, like I said, I feel real inspiration today, motivated to, you know what I'm saying, speak on some shit, who, some shit that I've been keeping quiet about for quite some time. You know what I'm saying? Just going back on my lessons, studying the shit, making sure my approach on this shit going to be 100 like it is. So, you know, finishing up on some books who, I may have forgot about, forgot I was even fucking reading them and shit. This motherfucking book, right? Let me see, hold up. Y'all see that? Mind Control 101 by Dan Tanya Jones. How to influence the thoughts and actions of others without them knowing or caring. You gotta get this motherfucking book. I gotta get this motherfucking book. I got insects in here flying. I think I must have got that motherfucking attention. Niggas just got done cutting grass and shit. 
unapologetically chaotic, man. You're going to have to deal with that shit. I'm a chaos beings, and, and, and they got to come off the top a lot, but you're going to have to deal with that shit. I'm quite used to it. So I niggas go. CP time, nigga time, you already know, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm just going to leave y'all niggas alone for a minute, but I just want to put an emphasis on mind control, man. Learn that shit, you know what I mean? Learn how it's how it affects you. Search out through your mind, through meditation or whatever you need to do, and find out what, how it's affecting you negatively, and how it's, you know what I'm saying how it's maybe putting a hindrance on your conscious no your consciousness growth or whatever your spiritual growth, your um you know what I'm saying your alchemy, and but reprogramming the mind and your subconscious mind and, and give it demands or commands on being able to activate higher forms of abstract thinking. In higher forms of psychic abilities and shit like that, and know that you can do this shit. You know what I mean? And and you know what I'm saying? Searching your mind on ways to utilize and weaponize your everyday existence, weaponize your mind of being able to affect your fucking environment. You know what I mean? Wherever you at, that's where God at. You gotta know that shit. And you gotta act on that shit. Whether you know it or not, whether you want the responsibility or not, that's what the fuck you are in every situation that you're in. I'm speaking on the niggas who, you know what I mean, don't hold no religious mindset, niggas. You one of them niggas, you on this shit, you need to wrestle with that shit. You got the crossroads. You got to decide if you're going to be a fucking sheep or you're going to be a goat. Like my nigga Phil Valentine said, it's goats and sheep. Predator, prey, alpha, betas. Nigga, I'm an alpha. So know that shit. Know that everywhere you at, is where, that's where God at. And that ain't only but the fucking, that ain't shit but the fucking first level of, of what you are, man. That, and you know what I mean? What you are is, is beyond human comprehension. We can't put no word on this shit. So just know that and build yourself up. Build your pillar up, man. Build your confidence up on who you are and work that shit. And utilize all the abilities that you, that you, you know what I'm saying, dream about. And make that shit manifest. It's simple. So I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. I'm not going to waste too much of y'all niggas' time, but... Mind Control 101 by Dantelian Jones. How to influence the thoughts of others without them knowing or caring. Get that motherfucking book, man. Get it before they take that shit out of print. They should have never let me read that shit. Peace.